More than a month after a crane crashed through apartments and through people's lives, really, the process is just beginning to get their belongings back into their hands. Yeah, for some, it's just a, another, yet another layer of frustration keeping them in limbo for far too long. Here's Kevin Reese. Pile of like new bedding that I've purchased. Today was finally move in day at a brand new apartment complex okay. in North so Dallas. So I'm actually getting a mattress delivered today that later this afternoon. But so all that Camille great. Martin has to move in are a handful of clothes, a few photos, a new TV on the floor, and a geriatric cat hiding in a corner closet. She's been moved, I think, three times now, so she's terrified. And Camille is slightly terrified about what's happening to the rest of her stuff. Um, everything. Everything's still in her old apartment at Elon City Lights, where the crane still sits on the units it crushed five weeks ago, and where residents were forced to leave most everything behind. Elon City Lights and the public relations company it has hired continue to communicate only through emails and written correspondence and tells residents that beginning today, July 15th, a private contractor will start with the first 184 apartments outside of the impact zone, cataloging, collecting, and packing up the furniture and belongings of each resident and sending them to secure storage. That's phase one. Then moving on to the apartments in phase two, where Camille used to live. And although that process, the process of a private contractor beginning to remove the personal belongings of all of the people who used to live here, the frustration remains because still no one can tell them just how long this limbo will last. You know, initially we were told July 15th we could start picking up items. It's now July 15th and we have no timeline whatsoever. But you still don't have a hard timetable when your stuff is coming out of your apartment. Oh, no, not at all. In its most recent statement, apartment management wrote that we wish we could provide you with a more definitive timeline, but we recognize that there are many factors still outside of our control, including when residents might be able to recover all those cars still trapped in the garage. Like at yeah. this point, it's either sink or swim and we need to swim. We need to keep moving, moving ahead with their lives with so many pieces of those lives still locked up for who knows how long in Dallas. I'm Kevin Reese.